What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Trevi Trev, and I'm back with another video. Oh, let me pull my chain out. I gotta show y'all it, because the sun's out, it's glistening, and I hit the park because today, I basically wanted to talk about being selfless and how God will provide opportunities for you if you work for them, if you act with character, if you carry yourself a certain way, and if you try. Because a lot of people do not try in today's world. They don't try, and then they wonder why they don't get the results they want. But I wanted to put this video out for you guys to tell you to basically be selfless because, you know, I just wanted to talk about a personal experience that I had recently because, you know, I got inspired because recently, you know, I was like down bad, you know, and it's it's not like too uncommon for me to be down bad financially because, you know, how the world is and the cost of living is bound to happen sooner or later. So, you know, when it happens, it happens. But I was down bad. And, you know, during these periods when I'm down bad, things start to happen and I start to not necessarily feel like myself because when you're in a financial rut, it just kills your whole vibe. And if y'all have been broke before, y'all know the feeling. Like when you're broke, you know, it ruins your whole plans. If you want to go out to get something to eat, nah, you can't do that. You don't got enough money. If you want to do this with your girl, you can't do that. You don't got no money. And it kills your vibe, right? But you know, I was in those down bad periods for a couple of days because I had to travel. I had to do all this for my future. But, you know, I had to make those sacrifices and I was down bad and I had the option. I had the option to basically not help someone, you know, because I'm doing bad myself. So what do I look like helping someone? But instead of saying, oh, I'm down bad, I can't help. I actually decided to help this person. Right. And then, boy, when I tell you the floodgates opened up and positivity just came in, it came in because when I decided to help this person, you know, more people started to help me. And it's the law of attraction. Like, it's so beautiful to see because it's like, it's so beautiful to see. Let me show you guys my eyes. It's beautiful to see because when you see that stuff, you know, you, it starts to make you believe more and more. It starts to have, like, gives you hope because it starts to show you that, you know, you're doing things the right way. And, you know, it may not always happen. It may not always be when you want it to happen, but it will happen. It will happen. And that opportunity will come to you. And, you know, you just got to be patient. I say patience a lot because I'm an impatient person. I can empathize. I can empathize with not being patient because I'm not patient. I'm stubborn, in fact. But, you know, I tend to work hard towards myself and I'm trying to fix my flaws. I'm trying to do better. And I'm just basically trying to improve my standard of living and improve the way I interact with others. And, you know, I'm provided the opportunities that a lot of people aren't provided. But, you know, I'm humble about it. I'm humble about it. And I try to grow. And I try to do what I can because it's it's like in this life, you know, what what's the point of life if we're not helping other human beings or we're not trying to improve our own life? And that's how I just see things. And, you know, it made me think back to to like when I started on my journey as a businessman and I took my internship. Right. And I dreamt of this internship for years. Like I always wanted to work for the NFL. I always want to do this, this and that. Right. And then when I got to the big show, right, when I got to the internship on my first day, I almost quit. But you know what? Someone helped me through it because, you know, I didn't know what I was doing. I was nervous. You know, I wanted to quit something that I dreamed of for so long. But she told me to keep pushing. She told me to keep going. She gave me that extra boost that I needed to keep going. And then, you know, I studied harder. I, su I survived the, the weeks and I completed my internship. It was difficult. It was no cakewalk. Usually things are easy for me. But, you know, this was no cakewalk. But, you know, that person helped me and I was thinking about it because I got the opportunity, but I wasn't prepared. This time I was prepared, but I didn't have the opportunity. But I helped someone else out and then, you know, the floodgates opened for me. It was amazing. So I tell this to you guys, my viewers, you know, when you get an opportunity to help someone, to be selfless, to, to grow, to be an individual, do that. Do that. Because you can make a massive difference in someone's life and then they'll bring that back to you. That energy will come back to you and the world will become a better place. And as cliche as that sounds, you know, that's what we want in the world. We want things to be better. We want things to be better. And I say this to my the, the, the kids that I manage all the time. You know, don't settle with being a dummy. Don't settle with being a fool. You know, learn more because I was teaching this other girl about governments and civics and I was teaching her basically the importance of history. And then she was like, wow, I never thought of it like that. It's because they won't teach you that kind of stuff in a school. They won't teach you that kind of stuff in a school. And you have to learn from your own research or you have to learn from other people. And, you know, I provided her that opportunity to grow. And maybe that sparks a, a light in her that makes her do better. But, you know, 
that's the type of stuff I want to see from my viewers. That's the type of stuff I want to see for myself. It's all about expectation. It's all about research. And it's all about putting things into practice. But I wanted to just share this message with you guys because a lot of us are going through financial hardship and some of us are going to our lowest instincts. But, you know, never go to your lowest instincts. Try to be your best self, act with character, even when things aren't in your favor, because you'll watch how the world changes around you. But, you know, that's the video I wanted to make for you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Like, comment, and subscribe. Hopefully get yourself out in this beautiful earth, this beautiful nature. And, you know, I guess I can't say the word right, but, you know, just get yourself out there and start your week off great and just finish strong. Finish strong and accomplish whatever you want to do in this life because you don't want to hold back. You don't want to hold back. And that's my video for today. Hopefully you guys like, comment, and subscribe.